The new Nintendo Switch is here, but it's not what you thought it was going to be. Let's have a look right after this. Many gamers were expecting the Switch Pro to be announced, with 4K rumors and other things that were floating around. But unfortunately what they got was exactly the same Switch that exists right now. With a couple of differences. Number one, the biggest one that they've been announcing is the OLED screen. So yes, the Switch will get changed over to an OLED screen. That's one of the biggest changes. It's going to be 7 inches wide. So that's one corner to the other corner, just like a TV is measured as well. So definitely a much bigger screen. 64 gigabytes of internal storage, a big change up from what we had before. A much better adjustable stand that flips open just like Microsoft's uh, tablets that they've created much sturdier better than the one that they originally had on the switch so that's you know definitely a welcome change they say it's gonna have better audio so better onboard speakers and of course the dock will have a wired LAN port I mean at this in during this day and age I mean that should not be touted as a feature that should have already been included with the original um, docking stand uh, but hey better now than never all right so that's that's definitely a plop now is it is it really worth getting the new system is it really worth the upgrade maybe not for existing fans because the rumors are still circulating that there will be a pro edition that will come out sometime soon with nintendo it's always a surprise they don't really announce things well in advance uh just like this one no one expected it. Everyone was looking forward to the Switch Pro, but here we are, Switch OLED. I mean, we definitely like the larger screen. Maybe something to check out. If you don't have a Switch, then clearly this is the one to get. Um, if you're looking for something with a bigger screen and portability is really important for you, then yes, definitely make the jump. But if most of the time you just connect it to your TV and it remains docked, it may not be the Switch for you. Keeping the existing ones may be a better option. Well, either way, definitely cool, definitely like the bigger screen and all the other features uh, that they've included with this new Switch OLED. We can't wait till it comes out this October. That's it for this one. Hope you all enjoy. Take care. See you all in the next one.